Hey guys, Brian here with Audio Plugin Deals, and guess what? We have some new stuff. Surprisingly, I know. So we have the Aviram Dion uh, Arabic Strings is now in the shop, which we covered a um, few weeks back um, as one of the deals. So it is now available in the shop. And we also have a couple other libraries by Aviram Dion, which is the Music Box and the Harp Guitar. So let's check those two out right now. Alrighty guys, so let's just uh, jump right into the harp guitar. Again, Aviram Diane harp guitar, um, the new library available in the shop. So this is a kind of unique instrument. It's got a guitar neck there and then a longer curved uh, neck right there with some bass or some lower note strings, some more bassy sounds up there. Um, you can play both at the same time. There's some pretty cool YouTube videos of guys um, actually playing this instrument. So let's check out what this uh, library sounds like straight out of the box. So you have nine different uh, guitar sounds to choose from. I'm going to cycle through some of them for this riff, and then we'll go over uh, some of the others just playing it, because some of them have um, kind of hammer-ons and, and uh, d more ornaments instead of just playing them directly. So let's check this out. So that one is um, more like a different playing style. It's continuous um, pluck on the string. And then this one is um, its a hammer on that leads into the note, which is really cool for solos and stuff. So everything is velocity sensitive depending on how hard you press the key. And you can hear that has a nice release. Um, there's a lot of uh, realistic kind of guitar noises and, fing and noises of your fingers and um, pick on the strings and whatnot. You can hear that has a release um, sound or with the uh, pick hitting the string when you stop playing the actual note. So they're all um, velocity sensitive down here. Um, let's check out that same uh, riff or melody in a different octave, which is, um, should be this one here. Thank you. 
So there you can hear um, the differences in um, dynamics as I play at different velocities and in different octaves for that um, uh, specific guitar sound. That was guitar six. So um, you noticed um, some of them sound more like just, you know, a traditional acoustic guitar. Some of them sound more finger picked style. And then that one, um, a few of them have a more ethnic sound, almost sounds like an ethnic plucked instrument as opposed to a traditional guitar. Um, so there's a lot of variety there and some of them you can hear the pick attack is a lot stronger than with the others and the pick attack tends to get more pronounced as you um, play those notes in a higher um, velocity which is wh what I was editing down here. So that was um, just the same kind of rhythm with the harp guitar. Now let's play um, those three tracks all together and with no effects. So you could hear a little bit of the music box creep in there, so that's what I'm going to cover next, of course. So that was just the harp guitar. Three different um, melodies. One, the same melody, but you know, different octaves and different uh, velocity or dynamics played how you actually press the keys. And then the third one was a little um, kind of lead, so it kind of showcases the different um, guitar sounds there. And they're all um, able to key switch right down here in those uh, key ranges from the yellow to the green and the red there. So let's check out the music box next, which again has a lot of different variety in how you can um, play the notes. So you have these different articulations here, and the chorus ones also kind of add like um, more of a more effects in the background, kind of more sound design, some synthy, some more organic kind of sounds like you know some vocals um, going on in the background. And just like with um, the Arabic strings, um, the way that you are, if you watch right here, you see that um, there's a different word that shows up when you play in the different. Um, areas of the mod wheel. So in the lower section, the lower half, it says normal right there. This is all controlled. If you look right down here, uh, as I'm playing the mod wheel, you can just adjust it right there in the actual GUI. So the lower 50%, it says normal. And right about 50%, it says fun. And then right at the top, it says game. Now, this will actually have like a kind of different playing style depending on um, which instrument you pick. So there are three separate ways to play each articulation. So there's a bit more um, versatility there and, and more options to kind of explore the sound. So you can hear kind of like a, a creepy vocal type sound. Um, this uh, 
I feel like a music box in general can be very haunting um, and kind of like an innocence to it. And it can be kind of gentle and pleasing and relaxing. But um, what I really like about music boxes is when you add a lot of reverb and they can be, you know, very haunting and creepy. So let's just go through some of the different articulations and the different um, mod wheel positions, which will play each one in a different way. See, I was uh, adjusting the winding noise there, which is, you know, the um, kind of tinkering sound of the actual music box. Then we have another uh, knob over here. Kind of adds like a white noise air type sound, which gives it, uh, you know, kind of this natural creepy color to it almost. That one had like a lot of kind of delay and uh, tinkery type noises. Let's check out this one. So I noticed when the when I play with the mod wheel on like the ones that say B chorus, B chorus, B chorus two, three, and four. Um, all the way down, it has more, all of the music box sound with a, an addition of those kind of like creepy vocals in the background. And when it's all the way up, it almost seems to completely remove the music box sound altogether. Kind of reminds me of like X-Files or something. So yeah, uh, those were the different instruments, uh, the Aviram music box and the harp guitar. Um, really cool interface, especially for the music box uh, with that little butterfly turning and whatnot. So let's just check out all of them together and then like adding some reverbs. You get like the full atmospheric effect of what exactly you can do with, with um, these just these two different libraries. Now adding in like a children's choir, um, which I have here. Yeah, children's choir and some strings.
Um, so yeah, there you have it. That track was made only, uh, well, I added a little bit of strings in choir, but the, um, the main part of it was just three different uh, instances of the harp guitar and one of the music box. So yeah, that's what they sound like. Very cool for atmosphere, especially the music box. Really creepy. And then the harp guitar is actually, you know, surprisingly versatile because it can sound, it can actually cover, you know, like ethnic pluck strings and the standard traditional acoustic guitar. Um, and it has its own flavor, you know, if you add this into a track, um, I'm pretty sure you know, it'll it'll give you a certain element that uh, just a natural acoustic guitar library um, will definitely not be able to add. So yeah, be sure to come and check those out in the shop. And then remember, we also have the Arabic strings. So there will be a link to that video as well, because that was from a couple weeks back. But uh, all products by Aviram Dion, great products. Um, with really nice interfaces as well. I think uh, the guy's like a graphic designer and designs all of that stuff too. So yeah, um, please like, subscribe, comment, tell us what you think. Remember to subscribe because we're back here uh, multiple times a week with new products and updates on our deals and uh, new additions to the shop. So yeah, this has been Brian, Audio Plugin Deals. Thanks for watching guys, till next time. <laughs>